What's up you freaking genius dads? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve an equation using the quadratic formula that has imaginary solutions, right? So here we have 3x squared plus 5 is equal to negative 2x, right? So the first thing you want to do is just make sure this is in standard form. And standard form is this right here. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, right? This is obviously not in standard form, so in order to do that, all our terms just have to be on the same side of the equal sign. So let's move this negative 2x to the left. So if we add 2x to this side and add 2x to this side, well, on this side, those cancel out, right? So we'll just be left with a big fat 0 on this side. And then over here, we're going to be left with 3x squared plus 2x. Right? I'm going to put the uh, 2x next, right? Because that's standard form. And then the plus 5 we'll put at the very end, right? Just the number goes by itself at the very end. And again, that's equal to just zero. Okay, so then here you can see that a is equal to three, b is equal to two, and c is equal to five. Okay, so now that we know what a, b, and c are equal to, now we can plug them into the quadratic formula, which is this beautiful thing right here. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, I'm not done, all over 2a. Right, now I'm done. Okay, so this beautiful SOB is the quadratic formula, and now all we have to do is plug in our a, b, and c numbers into the formula. Okay, so then here we're going to get that x is equal to, uh, let's see, negative, right? And then what's our b term? It's positive 2, so we'll put a 2 right there, and then we're going to get plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's going to be 2 squared minus 4ac, so a is 3 and c is 5, right? a is 3 and c is 5, and then that's all over 2 times a, and a again is 3. Okay, so now if we simplify this a little bit more, we're going to get that x is equal to, let's see, negative 2 plus or minus, right? Negative 2 plus or minus, and then inside the radical, we're going to get uh, 2 squared, which is 4, so the square root of 4 minus this right here, 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 5 is 60, right? So minus 60, okay? And that's all over uh, 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so then if we simplify this again, we're going to get that this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 60, which is negative 56, right? Negative 50. 6, and that's all over 6, right? So here we have the square root of negative 56. Now, whenever you have a negative square root, that's obviously not possible, so that means we're going to have an imaginary solution here, right? So we just need to figure out what the square root of negative 56 is. So let's scroll down so we have a little extra root. Okay, and we can solve that off to the side over here. So the square root of negative 56. First of all, we can split up the uh, number from the negative sign by writing it as the square root of 56 times negative 1. Okay, now each of these get their own square root or their own radical, so we're going to write it as the square root of 56 times the square root of negative 1. Okay, now the square root of 56, we can simplify this, right? And you want to use a uh, perfect square if possible. So something like 4, okay, because 4 times 14 is equal to 56. So we can break that down into the square root of 4 times the square root of 14. And then we're multiplying by the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1 is specifically defined as i, okay? So that's where the imaginary number or symbol comes from, right? So then if we uh, simplify this a little bit more, the square root of 4 is just equal to 2. The square root of 14, we can break that down into 7 times 2, but that's not really going to help us. So you can just leave it as the square root of 14, okay? And then we still have our i right there, okay? So the square root of negative 56 is equal to 2 root 14i, okay? So then if we uh, come back into our formula, we can simplify this a little bit more. So we're going to get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 56, which is this right here, 2 root 14 times i all over uh, 6. Okay, now as you can see, uh, we have a couple 2's right here. We have a 2 right there and a 2 right there and a 6 in the denominator. So 2 over 6, we can reduce that down to 1 over 3, right? So we can rewrite this as uh, 1 over 3. So we're going to have negative 1 
plus or minus 1 times the square root of 14 times i over 3. Okay, but 1 times the square root of 14 times i is equal to just the square root of 14 times i, right? So we don't really need this 1 right there. We can simplify that even a little bit more like that. Okay, so then this would be your final solution. So x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 14 times i all over 3. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.